I'm starting outside Millennium Point in the centre of Birmingham. It is fusing an education hub with existing businesses and businesses of the future. It's also on the doorstep of the planned HS2, so it's the perfect symbol and starting point for my journey around this great region, looking at the very best of made in the Midlands. And with all that travelling ahead of me, it's good to start with a strong cup of cappuccino. Now you might think the Italians corner the market in manufacturing espresso makers, but these beautifully crafted machines, which are exported to no less than 70 countries, are made in Birmingham by a company that's invested heavily in state-of-the-art cutting and robotic equipment, but also in its people. And they say there's nowhere better to produce their products that have picked up numerous awards in recent years. 100% not anywhere else in this country could we do what we do. We need to be here based in the Midlands. We have a thousand trades, as you know, Birmingham is the city of a thousand trades, that still stands to this day. And if we need something doing or we need something out of the ordinary, somewhere around the area we will find somebody that will do that thing. We were founded in the late 19th century by Lord Marx to help protect innovation in the Midlands manufacturing industry and we've had a presence in Birmingham ever since. We were made in the Midlands and we're very proud to be sponsoring this award. Now coffee's all very well but no journey around this region is complete without a refreshing ale and there's plenty of it at the Purity Brewing Company. But it was their green credentials in dealing with wastewater that won them a sustainability award when I visited them first a few years ago. Last year, however, it was their policy of saving energy by reusing steam in their brew house through this clever piece of kit that got them the gong for a second time. The brewing industry in general is hugely acquisitive. It uses a lot of water and energy. So as well as worrying about the byproducts, the spent water, spent grains, spent yeast, spent hops, uh, we wanted to worry about actually how much energy we were using and how much water we were using as well. And with the investment in the, the kit that we have, we, we think we've got that down to a significantly lower level than the industry average. The vital role of apprenticeships and training in the Midlands are also recognised in the awards. The Midlands has got a fantastic heritage in automotive and in manufacturing and right now we're seeing a real renaissance in the car industry. The automotive industry is growing leaps and bounds and that's really, really got a real suck on the amount of skills that we need to create and the technology leaps that we're creating. So the fact that we're investing in these uh, young people and creating such relevant skills and creating them work ready so the idea that they'll come into a role and be able to hit the ground running is really, really special. I'm wearing this attire because I'm in one of the clean rooms at XCAM. They're close to Northampton and the Rixcam here was the product that got them the award because the judges said they were involved in two areas that are vital, investment and innovation. We're known for innovation when it comes to uh, manufacturing custom digital cameras for science experiments and space. So frequently customers will come to us when they need a system that they can't buy or that they believe it is not possible to, to make. And I think that that's what the judges saw when they uh, uh, shortlisted us last year. And if you're looking for an example of commitment to this region, well, this is it. Hydroforce, the winner of last year's Large Manufacturer Award. They were facing the opportunity of opening a brand new state-of-the-art factory with new jobs. But there was pressure to open in Asia, in China to be precise. The judges say they fought long and hard to stay here and that's exactly what they've done. We built this building to double our turnover in the next five to ten years and we're adding test stands. We've already added two test stands this year. We'll be adding another four at least, another line for assembling manifolds. So, we are expanding uh, to meet demands and I'm glad to say we're going to be exporting over a million valves to China this year. I think from an exporting point of view, clearly that's kind of part of HSBC's blood and our sort of legacy. We've been sort of doing that for over 150 years and really linking that into working with businesses in the Midlands, which let's be honest, kind of they make stuff, which is massively exciting as a banker, but also helping them export, helping them grow create jobs, 
To me, as a banker of over 30 years with HSBC, there's not a better place to be at the moment. The recent boom in the automotive sector directly helps small and medium enterprises, SMEs as they're known, like Sorion Electronics. They manufacture testing equipment used by companies including Aston Martin, Bentley and Jaguar Land Rover. One of the biggest challenges we got, we're not German. Uh, there is this perception in the UK very much that quality is German. And as a UK supplier, somehow we're second fiddle to Germany. We can prove through 25 years of doing this, we've got quality and we can prove it. And being local to the, our customers is paramount in what we do. It's always good to recognise companies that are driving people development and it, not just technology development, but recognising that people are a part of the business. So if we sponsor award, it's a recognition that people make up a company, not just technology. And I think sometimes companies neglect that part of their business. So when the company does recognise that, I think they're the ones that do the best. So made in the Midlands, very much alive and kicking. Businesses throughout this great region, exporting, expanding and innovating. Enjoy the awards, bye for now. We love manufacturing and making things, that's what it's all about. Innovating, design, new look, new style, different things. People come to us with ideas, can we make it? I always like the answer, yes. It's pride at the end of the day, everyone has a bit of pride and pride in the Midlands, you know, it's, it's all good in a way, you know, so to say that you were part of it as well, it's, it's a great feeling. <laughs>